What technique is best for muscle building? Lightweight and more reps or heavyweight and less reps? And is there an ideal combination? All right, let's go. There's a debate in the fitness world on the best way for guys to build muscle. And it seems like there are great arguments on both sides. So let's take a closer look at what actually happens when you lift heavy versus lifting lighter weight. And what will lead to the best results for your specific needs? When you begin to think about lifting, the differences in approach really come down to intensity. Just like with interval training or HIT, the question is around intensity levels and the ability to sustain that intensity level. So let's look at your personal best, the heaviest amount of weight that you can lift in a particular exercise one time, your one rep max. So for example, your one rep max in a squat would be the amount of weight that is so heavy that you can only do it one time and no more. If you were to take that same amount of weight in the squat and reduce it by 20% or 80% of your max one rep, then you would most likely be able to increase the reps from one to about six or eight. So when we lower the intensity then, we increase the reps, obvious enough. And this relationship between intensity and reps has been studied at length. But the question remains, what is the right intensity and rep level for max muscle building? So let's look at the clay of supporting lighter weight and more reps. That is a percentage of your one rep max that is considerably low to allow for 15 to 25 reps per set. The argument here is that lighter weight and more reps results in good stress on your muscle structure, metabolic stress to be exact. That is physical stress on the muscles that lead to an accumulation of lactate, phosphate, and hydrogen that is necessary for growth and strength. Low weight advocates also claim that the exercises themselves feel more effective and therefore add a psychological component that drives men to better overall workouts. Higher reps can lead to a larger pump for your muscles that are clearly visible in the mirror. Logic would dictate then that the lighter weight approach is working very well. But in reality, the lightweight higher rep workouts are not some perfect formula that is ideal for everyone. The truth is that it definitely has benefits that most guys will take advantage of, and studies have concluded that similar muscle gains can be accomplished when lifting heavier or even moderate weight. These studies even show that lightweight sets using about 30% of max can equal the same results as heavier weight in the 80% of max range. So ultimately, there is no ideal approach based on these studies. But here is the crucial aspect. Studies in a lab environment are very good, but sometimes don't tell the whole story. So let's look at some real world factors that are critical for muscle growth for all of us leading very busy lives. First, lifting max weight can lead to more potential for injury and puts an unnecessary burden on your joints. It's easy to imagine with an exercise like squats, lifting at your personal max amount of weight will put an enormous amount of stress on your back, your hips, and your knees. Second, very heavy weight training is best for compound move exercises. That is, when doing a move like lateral shoulder raises, you are engaging smaller muscles and isolating them in the move. Using a max amount of weight here is much more likely to result in an injury given the isolation and lack of support from surrounding muscles and joints. Your form will suffer and result in unnatural moves that could lead to stress or injury. Third, very low rep training and super heavy weight is unlikely to deliver the actual growth most guys are looking for. One study showed that eight sets of one rep max lifting resulted in worse muscle growth than compared to the 80% weight amount with more reps and less sets. In other words, simply going for max weight several times is not the ideal approach. On the other hand, with lighter weight, the benefits occur when your rep count is so high that you must go to literal failure. That is, for example, you may need to do 25, 30, 35 reps of a low weight move to hit that failure point. And then doing this for multiple sets, it's not hard to see that many guys will experience burnout doing this much lifting, not to mention the amount of time it would take to do all that. So given the realities of working out in the real world, most men want to get the most results in the least amount of time possible. Increase the weight and lowering the rep count meets those needs better. So concluding on the lightweight sets, 
it's ultimately part of your arsenal. Don't discount them because of the challenges we just spoke of. As the studies and anecdotes indicate, there are real benefits to endurance style lifting and you should take that into consideration in your complete plan. As the saying goes, variety is the spice of life. For muscle growth, studies show that's true here as well. So low weight, high reps could be ideal for isolation style moves such as shoulders and biceps. The weight is low enough that the injury risk is low and your form can stay ideal. You can work those isolated muscles to failure without completely using up all your energy as you would in say, a super high rep squat routine. So to get deeper on this, Different rep ranges at different weight levels hit different areas of your muscles. As we mentioned, high rep ranges trigger the metabolic pathways for muscle development that stimulate lactate, phosphorus, and hydrogen production in your muscles. Conversely, high weight exercises stimulate a lot of tension in the body that stimulates muscle growth by activating mechanosensors. A scientific term to mean hormonal triggers that are activated to tell your body to produce more tissue in that muscle area. Heavy weight must be used to activate this type of muscle tissue growth. Additionally, fast twitch muscle fibers are developed more effectively with higher weight exercises. These are the muscle areas that generate the most force but have very little stamina associated. This would be the explosive type moves like a jump to slam dunk a basketball or a sprint from a dead start. Explosive but short-lived. Finally. Heavier weight is best used to get physically stronger. This may seem obvious, but there are a lot of guys who want bigger pumped muscles just for the look, not for the actual strength. But studies show that building strength through higher weight can actually lead to larger size muscles in a more efficient manner. For example, strength gains from moderate to heavy lifting sets can transfer over to lightweight isolation sets. So with bicep curls, lifting heavy can increase the strength that can lead to heavier weight for higher rep sets, ultimately concluding in biceps that are both stronger and bigger. So ultimately, the best approach is mixing it up. Sets with heavy weight, moderate weight, and lightweight. Of course, this makes intuitive sense. Variation hits all areas of muscle development. But what then would be the best approach for us? The answer here depends on where you are in your journey. If you have very little time to dedicate to working out, then stick to the moderate weight and aim for eight reps and three sets. This is the standard that will produce the most in the least amount of time. But to level up from this, or simply to add in some variation, mix up the weight amounts every month or so. So that would be a moderate rep range as your foundation that is a weight that would make hitting eight reps hard. Do that for a month at your normal interval, say once or twice a week for that muscle group. For example, squats. After a month or so of moderate, lower the weight to 30% of your max and increase the reps to 20. Do those squats once or twice a week for about four weeks. Then for the next month, increase the weight substantially such that your rep is about three or four. Be careful here to maintain proper form and add weight in increments to dial it up to that four rep set. Do that for a month, then switch back to moderate. Listen to your body, but this method will utilize all the advantages of light, moderate, and heavy lifting to build your muscles optimally and quickly. Check out this video for more tips and tricks, and we will see you there.